Hello people, this is Bunridge and it's a new Sublime Text window, I call this one Splitting Windows and it will be a bit of a rambling wind, uh, video, uh, I will show you how Sublime Text's uh, internal window splitting works and why I don't use it. It's not so much to say about it really, there is some um, default key bindings here for splitting windows, uh, Alt Shift 1 to 8 or 1 to 5 and then also 8 and then you can jump between these groups with control and the number 1 to 4 and you can move a file to a specified group with one control shift 1 to 4 so let's see how this works in action uh, let me go to the sublime project <clears throat> So Alt Shift uh, and 1, that will restore to a single view. So nothing will happen now when I press Alt Shift 1. Uh, but if I press Alt Shift 2, then it splits the window in two panes like this. Uh, and now the focus is here in the second pane. There is no real good way in, uh, w that I know about that, to know that I am in the second pane, but you just have to learn it basically. But Control 1 that jumps now, so the focus is here. Control 1, Control 2, Control 1, Control 2. Um, and Control Shift 2, that will move this file to the second pane here. And then you can split it with Alt Shift 3, Alt Shift 4, Alt Shift 5, and Alt Shift, uh, let's see, 6, 7, 8. So you can have these different splits, uh, built, uh, and they are built into Sublime. But I don't use this at all. Uh, I have uh, even disabled these uh, uh, key bindings in, in my normal workflow. Let's do a Alt Shift 1 here. It's not that it's uh, bad in any way, in, in one way, but my, uh, I, I just realized that window uh, managing, window manipulation, window handling should be handled with the window manager uh, as much as possible. Uh, that will give you much more flex flexibility. For example, I have Thunar here. Uh, I have did, uh, made a video about this. I call it uh, re renaming instances or something. So I can open a Thunar window. Now I have two Thunar windows. These are not part of the same window. I can resize them individually. And if I want to, I can even uh, um, make one of them floating and that that is one of the big advantages you know with having separate windows instead of, of panes within the same window you can you can uh, um, you can uh, move them around much more freely and um, uh, resize them and and um, hide them and you can have like when you have multiple windows, I can have one window with Thunar, one window with uh, uh, an image or a media player or whatever, you know, you're, when, you're, when you use the internal splitting of an application, I can't have a file manager uh, in, in one of these panes, I, I can't have a browser or uh, anything else. So that's why I use it. And another very big advantage is that you don't have to learn uh, key bindings for each and every application, how they manage splitting windows, and it's always some weird quirks about it. I, I don't even know how to resize uh, uh, windows in uh, Sublime when you have uh, multiple of them like this. Uh, we can go down to, to the key bindings here, and here you can also see uh, this is like a, a Sublime setting file, Sublime key map, but I, I'm using this uh, simple syntax in this uh, so I can have sections in it. You can see that simple syntax video in the playlist Sublime on my YouTube channel. I, I had thought I would make a, a new video about it, but I, I, I watched it and it's fine. I don't want to make another one. It's my own package, this Sublime uh, simple syntax. You can create simple syntaxes like this. But this is uh, how the key bindings look like. Alt Shift 1 looks like this, Alt Shift 2. And you see it's uh, very, very uh, difficult to... to uh, write these uh, just from the top of your head. You write some weird percentage uh, on how big the panels should be and stuff. It's really, uh, yeah, it, 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 it's a bit cryptic to say the least. Um, and uh, yeah, as I said, I don't know even how, how to resize them. I guess you, you send the same command but with a different uh, uh, percentage values but keeping the same layout, then I guess they are resized. 
So, and that was basically what I wanted to say about it. This that m many people who use uh, internal splitting in Sublime, I think they use a package that's called Sublime Package Control uh, Origami, like you know Japanese paper folding art. <laughs> origami. There. Let's see. Yeah, you get it here and here. There are some special ones and a special one for vintage. Um, let's see if there are some images. Uh, whatever. Th this is much uh, easier to, to, to work with. But still, I don't use this either. I use uh, uh, i3 instead for window splitting. And I can show you here. For example, I have bound here a hotkey. Super Shift S. That opens another. This is a, actually a sublime window. And here you can see how I uh, uh, set the per project font setting here. I have a, this is this is a full blown Sublime window. Now I open eye opener here. I can open uh, uh, the command palette in this window. Whoops, key there. This is the command palette. I could change the UI theme here in this. Uh, well, may, if I do so, if I change the UI theme, that might change in in both windows actually. But whatever. Uh, but you have the, a full-blown Sublime here, independently, in, in its own pane that I can resize uh, however I want, you know. And uh, I can have panes with other directories as well. <clears throat> this is very, very useful. And the next video will be on how to set this up, because it is actually quite tricky. And there are some, some weird things that you have to consider when, when using multiple windows. One is that Sublime saves the, the, set, the, uh, the window session. So um, I have like, this is my main Sublime window, and I call this one Sublime Notes. I call this uh, uh, window. And it's important that you always close the main window last otherwise uh, you will get it will get weird when you start a new session we, we we can see it here if i if i would close both of these here now and then open sublime normally yeah now it opened my notes project instead it always it, yeah it's weird so i have to make uh, i have uh, needed to make a script that uh, makes sure when I close Sublime that it always close the windows in the right order. That, and that is a bit annoying. But it's it's a bit of Sublime's thing and it's uh, also kind of logical in a sense also that it is like that. It's uh, nothing weird about it really. Whatever. And here you can see when I change project here, when I go to notes, um, that project, then uh, the font setting changes and w no matter which file I open in this project it, it will have this uh, small smaller and it's also a different font face here uh, so I will show you this in the next video and that was also why I wanted to make that uh, Dr. Dirtek video before about uh, tits and stuff or the window title X uh, WMCTRL tits and stuff what am I saying who are you man Dr. Dirtek is it you um, yeah, I wanted to make that so so I don't have to explain all of that when we uh, start doing this uh, window manipulation. And this is also one of those things that um, it, you can apply this to more or less any program. Uh, and and as long as you have a good window manager. And it should work just as fine with i3 and the uh, um, other tiling window managers, especially uh, uh, ones that have tabbed containers like this, it's it's excellent to, to be able to do this. So I also have a, like a temporary one that I can open like this, uh, and this also I can use in um, in uh, yeah I can I can open edit edit boxes in, from from uh, Vivaldi in, in in that window. I think it's Control E, yeah. Then it opens here. I can. Uh, I'm using Vim bindings now, DD, and then hello, save, or I don't even have to save, and then uh, ZZ. Then it uh, prints <laughs> that into the search box. So I can edit search boxes with Sublime. This is also a full blown Sublime window. So you can do really, really cool things by, by uh, enabling this. Whatever. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye.